Um, you mentioned uh, ChatGPT earlier. Um, you know, I, I played a significant role in the creation of uh, OpenAI. Um, essentially, at the time, I was concerned that Google uh, was not uh, paying enough attention to AI safety, and, um, and, so, and so I, I, I with a number of other people, um, created OpenAI. And although initially it was created as an open source nonprofit, and now it is closed source and for profit. I, I don't have any stake in OpenAI anymore, nor, nor am I on the board, nor do I control it in any way. Um, but the, the chat GPT, I think, has illustrated to uh, people just how advanced AI has become. Um, the, because the AI has been advanced for a while, it just didn't have a user interface that was um, accessible to most people. Um, so what really ChatGPT has done is just put an, an accessible user interface on AI technology that is um, that has been present for a few years. Um, and there are much more advanced versions for that that are coming out. Um, so I think we, you know, I think we, we need to really be, I, mean, I think we need to regulate AI safety, frank, frankly. Um, because if you think of any, um, technology which is potentially a risk to uh, civil to, to people like if it's aircraft or uh, you know cars or uh, medicine we have regulatory bodies that um, oversee the public safety of, of cars and planes and medicine and um, I think we, we should probably we should have a, a similar sort of regulatory oversight for artificial intelligence because um, it is, I think, actually a bigger risk to society than uh, cars or planes or, or uh, medicine. Um, so, um, and this may slow, slow down AI a little bit, but I think that, that might also be a good thing. Um, the, the, the challenge here is that uh, government regulatory uh, authorities tend to be set up in reaction to something bad that happened. So, if you look at, say, aircraft or, or cars, um, you know, the cars were unregulated in the beginning, aircraft were unregulated, uh, but they had lots of, um, you know, airplane crashes, and in some cases, manufacturers that were cutting corners, um, and, and a lot of people were dying. So, they, the public was not happy about that, and so they established a regulatory authority to improve safety. And now, commercial airliners are um, extremely safe. Um, in fact, they're safer than than if, if you were to drive somewhere. Uh, it's the, the safety per mile of a commercial airliner is better than a car, and, and cars are also extremely safe compared to where they used to be. Um, so, um, but if you say if you look at say the introduction of seat belts, uh, the, the auto industry fought the introduction of seat belts uh, as a safety measure for I think ten or fifteen years. Um, before finally the regulators made them put seat belts in cars and that greatly improved the safety of cars um, and that airbags were another big improvement in safety. So um, my concern is that with AI, if, if there's something bad, that, if something goes wrong, um, the reaction might be too slow from a regulatory standpoint. Um, so I, I, I'd say, like, it, 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 you know, if I say, like, what, what are the biggest risks to the future of civilization? Um, the, 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 this AI, AI, but AI is a double, you know, it's, a, it's, it's both positive and negative. It has great, great promise, great capability, but it also with that comes great danger. I mean, you look at, say, nuclear, it, it, you know, just the discovery of sort of nuclear physics, uh, you had nuclear power generation, but also nuclear bombs. Um, so anyway, I think we should be quite concerned about it, and we should uh, have some regulation of what is if, if, uh, fundamentally um, a risk to the public. Uh, you know. um, so you know, I, I thought the, it was important, kind of, for the future of civilization to try to correct that uh, thumb on the scale, if you will. Um, and and, uh, and and just have Twitter more accurately reflect uh, 
like I said, the, the values of the, the, the people of Earth. Um, that's, the, that's, the, that's the intention. Um, and uh, hopefully we succeed in, in, in doing that. Sure. Um, yeah. uh, but how do you see Twitter? If we, we say it five years down the road, what's your vision for, for this platform? What, sh what should it do? Well, I think it'd be, I'd like to, you know, have this sort of long-term vision for something called uh, x.com from back at, way back in the day, uh, which is kind of like a, a um, sort of like an everything app um, where it's just maximally useful. It does, you know, payments, uh, it does, um, uh, so it provides financial services, provides information flow, um, really anything digital. Um, and, um, you know, also provides secure communications. Um, so, that, that really, to, 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 you know, I think you know, be, be as useful as possible, as entertaining as possible, um, and uh, also to be like a, a source of, of truth. Like, if you want to uh, find out what's going on and what's really going on, um, then you could, should be able to go on, 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 you know, X, the X app. And, uh, and and find out. So it's a sort of source, a sort of a, a source of truth, and a maximally useful, I guess, app is about the wrong word, but system. Um, and and twi Twitter is essentially an accelerant to that sort of maximally useful everything app. Um, yeah. How how you are gonna? I mean, if you look at Twitter today, I mean. It's, it's a platform. Sometimes there is a lot of misinformation in Twitter. Sometimes I don't feel comfortable even because there is some way there is this negative between nation, between people, between a different uh, ethnic uh, group. There is this hate thing. How you are how you are going to fix this issue where you are you are on a mission with for humanity to get them together. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think there's um, there's something that we're, that we're putting a lot of effort into called community notes. Um, it's currently just in English, but we will be expanding it to uh, all languages. Um, that is, I think, quite a, a good way to um, assess the, the, the truth of things, where it's the community itself, basically the you know, the, the people of Earth who are basically, you know. Um, not exactly voting, but, but competing to provide the most accurate information. So it's sort of a, a competition for truth. Um, and I think it's a very powerful concept to have a competition for truth. Um, and because well, you can also say like, what, what is true? It's because what may be true to some may not be viewed as true to others, but you want to have the closest approximation of that. 